Welcome back to BC Sports Cards. I'm BC. And today we're going to do another edition of Mailbox Autos. It's TTM video number 48. And this week we have seven returns from the box. And so we're going to get into these, see what we got today. And then we're going to get into a package from Caleb's Cards. Uh, going to do the junk, junk Wax Challenge that he's sponsoring. And so I'm going to give more details about that when we get to it. So let's get into this week's returns. The first one coming in from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We have Ray Fontenot. So Mr. Fontenot signed three cards. That's the 85 tops traded nicely in blue ink. The 86 tops on the cubbies. And a twins card from 87 tops. So basically three consecutive years of tops cards. So very nice. We're going to put the 85 tops up. Very nice signature. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Next, we have coming in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A current player, Weston Wilson. I want to say he plays for the, is it Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs? I think. Uh, so, obviously, he's a Philly current player. I think he's still in the minors. but He may have been called up. I'm not sure. But sent this to the minor league park. And he signed this, and I think Mike at the hot corner got him back. That's why I sent to him. Didn't know he signed, but always cool to get a current player, major or minor league. So very nice. I appreciate that, Mr. Wilson. Hope you make it to the major soon. Thank you, sir. Third out of the box out of Southern Maine, I guess, <clears throat> we have Bob Tewksbury. I've seen a lot of people get him back. So I sent to him uh, three cards. This is the 93 Fleer, very nicely in blue ink. The 93 Tops and the 87 Fleer, which that might be his rookie card. I'm not sure, but very cool. Hard to see that one kind of in the black with the black shirt on, but very nice. I don't have a lot of 93 Fleer cards, so we're going to put that one up. That one looks the best. Thank you, Mr. Tewksbury. Fourth out of the box, we have from Atlanta, Georgia. And we have Kent Hill. Very nice. Football return. So I sent Mr. Hill a couple of cards. This is the 84 Tops, where he was NFL, NFC Pro Bowler. Very cool. He, uh, he, he put an inscription on there, or personalized it to Bart with his signature. And also the... 86 tops where he was an all pro so very nice he was a guard for the rams good player thank you mr hill let's go with that 84 tops thank you next up from houston texas all right jose cruz this was a good return I haven't seen too many people get him back he does charge five dollars i believe per um so i sent him this 86 tops and so he signed it very nicely in blue ink. Very glad to get that one back. He was a, you can see he played for a long time. I'm not sure how much longer after 86 he played, but um, very solid player. I mean, he had over 2,000 hits. So, I mean, that's, that's nothing uh, to sneeze at, really. This one says he had 2,014 hits through 1985. So, that's pretty good. Can't read that batting error. So this, I think 285 maybe? He hit over 300 a couple years. He's a good player. So Jose Cruz, thank you for sending me your autograph. I appreciate it. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, next. We have Lee Guterman. So I uh, sent Mr. Guterman three cards. This is the 88 score in thin blue Sharpie. The 88 Fleer and the 87 Fleer. So I've gotten a ton of these signed, probably 70, 80 plus maybe, uh, or 60 plus, a bunch, because I've got the entire set. But um, these look very nice. Let's go with the 88 score. I think that one looks the best. Thank you, Mr. Guterman. Last return is from Parts Unknown. And we have Jack Savage. 
So, Mr. Savage, I sent three cards. This is his uh, Major League Prospect card from the 88 Fleer set. They signed on his side. I'm not sure if Mr. Simmons signs. I'll have to check that. Sent him in 90 uh, tops traded and an 89 Fleer. I mean, Donruss. Excuse me. Not 89 Donruss. Says it right there. Um, very cool. I think this is funny because he was a pitcher, but in his his prospect card, he has a batting helmet on, which is kind of funny. So um, let's go with that prospect card because I like that one a lot. Very cool. All right, so that does it for the returns. And so Caleb's, uh, Caleb at Caleb's Cards is doing a Junk Wax TTM challenge. And... Um, he's, he's sending out packs of cards. Well, I'll just get into it. I think there's some uh, a rules sheet in here, I believe. I've seen some other people open their pack. So he sent, he's sending a pack. I'll show you. It's just easier to show you. So he had a box of up 91 Upper Deck Football. And so he's sending anyone who wants to participate in a pack. And then you can see how many TTMs you get out of that pack. So all the rules are on here. I'm not going to go over all that. It talks about deadlines and um, how you can get them, mainly through the mail. I think they can be um, private signings, but it has to be in the mail. It can't be in person. I know that. And so I think there's, how many cards are in here? 12 maybe? doesn't say. We'll count them, but I think there's maybe, yeah, there's 12 football cards. So we'll see who we get. And then I'll start sending them out. I think the deadline is the end of this year. Unless it's, uh, unless it's extended. The contest started back on the 10th. Obviously, we're past that. So, anyway. And then whoever gets the most back by the deadline it will be declared the winner. So, very cool. Let's see who we got and who we're going to be sending to. Hopefully, hopefully, we don't get any huge names that don't sign through the mail. But uh, it'll be okay. Well, <laughs> that one's probably not going to be a no-go because that's got Jerry Rice and Joe Montana on it. Well, I tell you what, though. If you look back here, who do you think that is? That's a Dallas Cowboy number 72. That's Ed Two Tall Jones. I can send that to Ed Two Tall Jones because he's pictured on there. That's what I'm doing. And <sighs> Love the card. That is a sick card. But... That's Mar, uh, Dan Marino and Mark Clayton. That's my team. And that was in the famous snow game, I think, um, in Buffalo. But that one's not going to be one that's going to get signed, I don't think. What is going on here? Um, why? This is weird. These are inserts? Warren Moon, he signs. I can send to him. And that's Drew Hill, I think. Um, I don't know who that is. Steve DeBerg and Stefan Page. I don't know if either one of those signs. I don't understand this. Why do I have five aerial threat insert cards? Keith Jackson. He does sign. I've gotten him back before. So maybe it's not a bad thing. I don't know. That's just really weird. I've never opened this product. And that's pretty sick. That's one of those hologram cards. Game Breakers, Neil Anderson. I don't know if he signs. Just real weird. Dennis Bird. I have to look him up. Eugene Robinson. I don't know anything about him. Um, Felix Wright. He's a safety. Uh, Steve Jordan. I just got him back. I know he signs. I will send that back out to him. <laughs> explaining what I'm doing because I just got him back. Uh, Alvin Walton. Eugene Marv. <sighs> okay. Y'all have to let me know in the comments why in the world I got one. Well, this is Arch Rivals, which these are... It's part of the base set, obviously. But why... I wouldn't, I've never seen a pack that had that many non-player cards. The, these are these are inserts or what you would... 
or subset, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Luckily, uh, this is Venice Glenn. It's got Deion Sanders on there. That's Deion. I, I don't think he signs, but, um, maybe Mr. Venice, uh, Vincey Glenn signs. I don't know. I know those two guys don't sign, but super sick card for my PC. Love that card. Um, Keith Jackson signs. I don't know about DeBerg or Stefan Page. I don't think DeBerg signs. I think I've looked him up before. I know Warren Moon signs for a fee, which I'll probably do that. And those two guys don't sign. So, um, I don't know. I just think that's super weird. Um, well, I did say that I could get the Ed Two Tall Jones on there because he is, that's, that's him. I'm pretty sure he was still playing in 90, 1990 because this would have been for the 90, 90 season. Okay, well, not too bad, but I really like this card. And if this guy signs, that would be sick. These are just, I love these. These are so cool. These holographic cards, 3D cards, whatever you want to call them. Just nice. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll see what I can do with that. I can get maybe three or four, hopefully. And I know Warren Moon's a fee and Keith Jackson, I'm not sure. I got him back well over a year ago, probably, but maybe I can get him to sign that card and I'll have to check on the others. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought, what, uh, what was your favorite TTM that I showed this week. Um, and somebody tell me about those, the, uh, the aerial threats. Why did I get five in a pack? I've never seen that before in my life. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Like this video. Helps out the video quite a bit. And uh, leave a comment down below. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.